an olive ridley sea turtle to be released. Um, we have five species of sea turtles that we can see in Backwit Bay. Seven in the whole world, but five in the Philippines and five in Backwit Bay. And for the longest time, we've thought that only two of them nest here. It's only the green sea turtle and the hawksbill sea turtle. But today, for the first time, we, fi we find out that in Backwit Bay, we also have olive ridleys. Ol olive ridley. Olive ridley. Yes. So how do you differentiate between the species? For babies, it's very easy. It's by the color. So if you have olive ridleys, they have black shell and then black underneath as well. And then for the hawksbill, brown on top, brown on the underside. And then for the green sea turtles, you have black above and then white in the bottom. So it's very easy to distinguish. Um, so turtles, when they nest, the mother climbs up to the beach and then finds a suitable area to lay their nest. Sometimes their nest is put in a place where it's not safe for them. Uh, for example, there are a lot of predators in the area. Another is um, the high tide can easily reach them. Or no one can guard the, the nest so it can get predated or it can get poached or stolen by people who want to eat them or sell them. So what we do in El Nido Resorts, we patrol our beaches, especially the ones that, uh, that are our proper property where we have land guards. And then they report to us whenever there are nests. And then if they are in an unsafe location, we relocate them. So this one was found in the airport, as in, in front of the airport. So we had to move because it's not safe there. There are a lot of poachers in that beach. So we moved from the airport all the way to here, to Bayog Beach. So one would think, how would you know it's safe to move? There are a lot of techniques uh, in order for you to save the turtles. Um, by transferring them. So when you relocate the eggs, it's very important not to shake them or not to move them around. Because unlike chickens, they were with chickens, you can turn them around and they're still fine, they're alive. But with the, with the turtles, what happens is after two hours of laying, if you move them, if you shake them, if you flip them, they will die or they will have a lot of abnormalities. So when you transfer eggs, it's very important to pick them up the same orientation and then place it again in the same orientation. Then while you are transferring, cushion it as much as possible so that it won't move so much. Then when you get to the place where it's going to be relocated, again, very carefully, same orientation to pull up, then same orientation to put inside the nest. So how deep do you, do you dig up to this? Um, this long, this deep. That's the rough estimate. Down. Yes, down, down. So they incubate for around 45 to 75 days depending on how hot the conditions are. The hotter the conditions, the more females are born. The colder, the more males. So it looks like, well, this one is supposed to hatch on February. So it seems that it's been very hot. So most likely there are a lot of females. So when we release the hatchlings, it is very important to, well, the first um, response would be to release them immediately. But since there are a lot of predators, we stall until sunset so that a lot of the fish are, are already sleeping. And then um, they're safe to roam around to, to get to, to the outside of the bay. It's very, very important to let them walk. The process of walking is called imprinting. So you cannot pick them up. So only us, the environmental officers, can pick them up, unfortunately, because um, it's hard when you have a lot of human interactions, they might, they might get stressed. So when they're walking, the imprinting process, um, it imprints the GPS location of the nesting site in the, into their brains. So if you've seen researches, they have found that there has been um, some metal components in their brain that allow them to really get the GPS location, like in the strictest sense, the GPS location of the place where they were born in, so that after 15 to 30 years, they will come back and then lay their own eggs. 
That's why it's very important to let them walk. And when you have them, don't put them in a bucket with water because they will get tired. They'll think they're in the water already, so they'll start swimming. And sometimes people would think, why don't we just take care of them? Well, let them grow first and then release them. Well, we're humans. We know how to take care of humans. We don't know how to take care of animals because they don't have the same needs as us. So we might be doing more harm to them than good. So it's much better to let them be wild. And then also, Ah, yes. So there is um, very important to keep the beaches clean because when we have hatchlings that we don't know of, for example, and you have a lot of litter scattered everywhere, they can get caught in the litter. Like you've seen pictures of turtles who, who were caught in fishing nets or in soda can um, plastics. So they get caught in that and then they eventually die. And then of course when you have um, plastic in the water, it looks like jellyfish. Jellyfish. jellyfish and all kinds of turtles love jellyfish they like to eat jellyfish so when they eat plastic they cannot digest it so they eventually die so please make sure that when you're doing your tours to always pick up the trash and never ever make trash yourselves we have questions when they when were they this morning, this morning. Yes, this so morning. the eggs are under yes, the sun. Under the sun. They just climb up to the sun. So, uh, so and where? Where? Where in here? Here. Ah, they're inside. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. They just put um. So they just put the net. Yeah. When they were eggs. Yes. Ah. Yes. And, and then also this morning they were hatched. So yes. Go up to the sun. And also for protection, we have this um, nest protection in order to protect the eggs against their natural predators. Uh, predators like the water monitor lizards because they love to eat their eggs. Uh, we've had two turtle nests. Um, unfortunately. Unfortunately, and at and, and Talula, uh, they were eaten by water monitor lizards. All? Yes, all. All the Spider-Man pala pa ito. So again, um, we would like to request for everyone's cooperation when we release all the, the hatchlings just let them walk on their own. That's not. I know when they get when they get turned over. We, we want to help them, but they need to do it on their own. Okay. Also, if you see them straying from the runway, just make the runway um, wider so that they can have more room to walk. Don't cross the runway once they start crawling because you might step on them and they can really die. <laughs> And also, thank you so much for being here because um, the mortality, well, only 1% of the turtles survive. 1% of the hatchlings, yes. But 50% uh, of the mortality happens during the time they climb up from the nest all the way when they get to the water. Um, because there are a lot of predators that can get to them, that can eat them. Um, so now that we are here, we are ensuring that there are no predators that can get to them before they get to the water. So this is a very important process. So again, it's important to uh, release the hatchlings when there's lower chances of, you know, them getting eaten. So we will be waiting until after sunset when it's a bit darker. So well, we cannot release right now. Yeah, we cannot release right now. It's still... They can still take pictures, ask questions. We encourage you yeah. to ask questions. You can also swim with them if you want. You can swim with them later. <laughs> but no touching, okay? What do they eat in the first So, weeks? thank you for asking that. So when they're in their eggs, they have the yolk, right? So once they come out, they have yolk enough for two days of survival. So you don't have to feed them anything. They will just use the yolk in their bodies to get them out to the sea. And then once they're out to the sea, they can eat the little um, shrimp, little... All the little creatures, they can eat that. Jellyfish? Yes, even jellyfish. Nice. <laughs> you see sargassum patches. A lot of sargassum, the seaweed patches that are floating around the bay. So that's what they use as shelter during their first few months. Because um, it's like their home so that they can hide from the predators. So we may think that the sargassum, that the seaweeds are not pretty for beaches, but they're actually home to a lot of creatures and one of them is the turtle. Ulit, ulit! Maulo mo, ulo mo, makan. 
What's going on, guys? I'm going to go to the 